Welcome back to our next tutorial. Following this video, you will know how to use the appearance panel. Here I have my object. Feel free to use any kind of object for this. I use my cog tool. I go into View, Zoom, Zoom to Selection, and it shows my selected object right in the middle of my artboard. My next goal is to color the fill. I go in here again. Choose a fill color that I like. I use a nice green. Go in the middle. Change the saturation. Then go into stroke. Use a nice stroke color. Let's see. Around here. Go into the width and change the width of my stroke color. Up here, as I explained in the previous tutorial, you can make changes the way you like them. I like it that way. Let's have a look at the appearance panel. Up here you have your color panel, your swatches, your stroke, your brushes, and to the right is your appearance panel. Here you can see you have a stroke, 8.5 in my case, and I have a fill color. Now what I would like to do is add on a stroke and try to make this purple line transparent. First I add on a stroke. I move the stroke to the bottom. I select my stroke, choose a color, let's say blue, go into stroke width and enlarge it until it shows up. Now what I would like to do is use again the same green. What I do is I go back into color, use my eyedropper, as shown previously, go into the green, the green is selected, by clicking on this round dot it's applied. Now my next goal is to make this purple line transparent. I go into stroke, normal setting and choose erase. The stroke color is still here, it's not in normal view, it's in erase view. That's exactly what I wanted and I go back into view, zoom to fit. The goal should be now to create your own object using transparencies in your appearance panel, add on several strokes, create your own object and we'll meet again in the next tutorial, where we'll be discussing the swatches panel, how to set up your own color palette. See you again soon!